I guess the thing I've been telling them is that don't be nervous just because the environment is different. Just be doing what you have to be doing. It's extremely exciting. I mean, we all work very well together, and I think that we all feed off of each other's energy. So being able to be here, not only as a relay, but also as a support system for Wadi, it's extremely exciting. Well, from the last meet, it was really helpful to have the D1 and D2 schools there, too, because you go in thinking, oh, I'm a D3 school, my time's not going to be maybe as fast as theirs. And then we ended up placing fourth overall, third. So it helps to be like, okay, cool. Like We ran against some of the fastest people on the East Coast, and we still came out on top. So I think it was a really good confidence booster to let us know that it doesn't matter what division you're in, we, we got it. Like We have the times. We're just as fast as everybody else. It's just that we chose to go to a D3 school instead of a D1 or a D2. And it definitely gives us a little taste of the competition we're going to see at Nationals. Um, and just help us prepare for competition. I think that the moment maybe all of us realized it was our tough sunshine meet where we had horrible handoffs and still posted <laughs> a time to put us in first in the LAC and first in New England. So that was really sweet to see that, wow, like we messed up really bad today and we could still do better. Like what could we do with flawless handoffs? What times could we run and how far can we go? So I feel like at LECs too. So I feel like the whole season was working up to LECs. So and Coach Hamza and Coach Walker had been saying all season, like, listen, it's okay that you're messing up now. It's good to get out the kinks now because we're going to go to nationals. And I think at LECs when we posted that time, it was like, oh, my God, like, we did it. And I feel like that was the first time our handoffs were all, like, pretty spot on. If you watch the video, it was like, the most seamless I've ever seen all four of us work together. So it was really nice to, for like all of the frustration that we were feeling throughout the season when we weren't practicing or when we weren't getting those perfect handoffs. It was nice to see it come through for LECs. It was like we rose up to the occasion. And I feel like that helps with going to nationals because we know that we can rise up to the occasion too. Just all about like trusting each other and trusting that the person can get to you before you cross the passing zone and not doubting that the person won't be able to reach you because it's a race and there is adrenaline like flowing and eventually we all will be like we'll be running faster and better so we have to trust in each other. Well I would say our coach just tell she pretty much just tells us to have faith in them have faith that she will catch you have faith that she will get her hand where it needs to be and have faith in yourself that you'll be able to execute what she's been teaching us all season and now that we've done it and like Lexi said we've gotten all of our kinks out it's a lot easier to um to actually get it done and it's a lot easier to say okay well I know if I go at this time she will be able to catch me I know if I go earlier she won't if I go later I'll mess it up so it's just I guess, you know, practice makes perfect, and we've pretty much got it down. I trust them. They're some of the closest people I've been, he like, with here. And so it helps that, like, it's also a family, too. It's not just about, oh, like, these are my teammates. Like, this is literally my second family. I just <laughs> see track more than I see my own family. So it, I think it helps that way, too, to have chemistry both on and off. I mean, we've spent a lot of time together, we've put in the work at practice, so we just have to go and trust each other, and we'll be fine. Um, nationally, is like, I'm, I'm thinking or saying is the only time where people actually get to see all the hard work that you've done all year round, because no matter how good you've been doing since first meet to the last meet, it doesn't really count unless you make it to national. Yes, we PR and yes, we do good. But it's like when you make it to national, it's when people actually notice, oh yeah, we've been actually doing work like off stage. But this is the moment where people actually get to see the work that you've been doing. And it's the paying off. Going to national is specifically for us, the athlete. But it's to say thank you to our coaches for all the work that they've done for us and been doing and still doing because the coaches does not just coach us, they basically become like a second family to us and for some of us, they are our first family and it's more than just coaching and just to get there, it makes its family like I can't imagine having any other coach personally.